Hello and welcome to this bumpy 50 point inspection. I'm really excited about this one. I know that there's at least one other viewer of my channel who's going to be excited about seeing this one too because this is from Modest Man Brewing Company out of Keene, New Hampshire and this is Mystic Warrior. This is my 13th review of a Modest Man beer on my channel. So as you can tell, I've uh, thoroughly enjoyed their products for the most part. Uh, this one is a NEPA coming in at 7% ABV. They are using Citra Nelson Suave, Sauvin hops. Uh, it says uh, tasting notes should be like white grapes, peachy, gummy, um, ripe citrus, and a nice soft mouthfeel. All of their New England IPAs say that they will have a soft mouthfeel. For the most part, I believe they are pretty accurate on that uh, first time having this one as well I have not uh, not tasted any on the side um, just picked it up this uh, this week at the packy so I'm loving the uh, can art as well this one is nice and tropical jungle theme type deal and uh, pretty cool so let's go ahead and crack it open and get into this inspection. All right, so, as you can see, it's got a nice tight white bubbled head, a little bit frothy on top there. Uh, it's that potato, it's that potato beer. Uh, extremely straw colored uh, and murky as all get out. Uh, Beautiful. What can I say? Beautiful, beautiful looking New England IPA here. Uh, let's get some aromas on it. Ooh, yeah. Uh, they talk about peach. This this is like peach. Yeah, so those, uh, they say peach gummy, so I guess, you know, yeah, if you're thinking of those peach gummies, it's pretty much that, but I mean, if, if not a gummy, just straight up peach juice. Uh, some oat. Uh, and wheat type aromas as well from the malt. A little bit of a zesty nose. So a little bit herbal spicy like. You get a little bit of uh, a little bit of papaya out of this one too. Touch, touch of that citrus note. All right, let's go in for the uh, first swig here. So cheers. All right, so yeah, medium body. Carbonation's about medium. It is soft smooth on the mouthfeel nice um, there is a lot of wheat oat bready a bit of that graininess as well um, there's a, a moderate uh, bitterness to this one on the finish the, the uh, bitterness on the finish seems to be a bit that herbal zestiness. Hop flavors in this. Are, it's not like the aromas. The aromas on this are so much more pinpoint, and better. Um, this one, this one's uh, body, the the malt presence in it, is a lot more present. Uh, that follows suit throughout the beer. Um, the Finishing bitterness is noticeable. So it's got that kind of that zesty zinginess, a bit of herbal. Uh, trying to pick out an individual flavor from the hops. It's kind of there's some notes in there, but I'm definitely not getting any peach in the flavor, which is quite amazing because this thing was a peach bomb on the aromatics. Yeah, um, it's just, it's kind of coming off a bit grassy. Um, I really cannot pick out a flavor note from the hops, really, besides the finishing bitterness. Uh, and, and there's a bit of like this kind of grassy green-like uh, flavor. Like this one, 
I just saw it this week. I, I don't know how fresh it is. They neglected to put a can-on date on this, so... I mean, this could just be within a week old. It does taste super, super fresh, super green. Um, I think this is one to sit on uh, to get more flavors. The aromas on it are fantastic. Um, the malt is coming through nicely, even though it does have that grain flavor to it, um, the graininess. It's not, it's not horrible in this one. Um, but damn, yeah, I was hoping uh, I was hoping the aromatics would come through in the flavor. So I'm gonna go ahead and give this one a score based off of as is, and I do think that it's way too, way too green. Yes, beautiful beer. It's going to get the 6 out of 6 for the appearance. The aromatics on it I thought were fantastic. I'm going to give it the 10 out of 10. Now the flavor score of this word is going to hurt it right now. Because like I said, I think that this beer is super green. Um, this is actually drinking like a super fresh Trillium beer uh, for the most part. If you guys have ever had a really fresh Trillium, you probably know what I'm talking about with that green. It's got that bite to it. Um, and, and a lot of times you just let those sit. And they'll, they'll turn out a little bit better after after a month or so. Um, so for the uh, the malt, like I said, it's coming through nice with the malt. The malt follows through. Uh, it's the first thing you really pick up. It falls through all the way to the finish. Um, even though there's that grainy note that I do bitch about a lot um, in beers. It does seem to work in this one somehow. Maybe it's just because there's enough oat and wheat type flavor notes following up. Plus that ending kind of um, herbal spiciness um, for the bittering. The uh, grape note actually starts to come up a little bit. That kind of white grape uh, is the only real hoppy flavor that I can get out of this. And that took a while to get. Uh, it's more so when I belch a little bit, kind of comes up. Um, so a little bit, a little bit of hop flavor in there right now, and it, it is kind of like a white grape. Um, the balance on this one right now is a little bit off. Uh, if it did have some hop, more hop flavor to it, um, versus just all the malt and then that kind of that moderate, medium bitterness. Um, It'd be a little bit more balanced, uh, so maybe, maybe giving this one some time, it might work out. But right now, it's uh, it's kind of like a, I gave it a three out of five for the balance. So my flavor score for this is a twelve out of nineteen as it sits right now. Body on it's beautiful, lovely body. Um, they tend to do a decent job with the mouthfeel and everything on their uh, New England IPAs. Um, Maybe not quite an other half, but pretty close, Joe. Pretty close. Five out of five for the body. My overall on this one, it's still enjoyable. There's enough about it as is um, that makes this an enjoyable drink. Uh, I am going to sit on the other cans that I have of this uh, to hopefully let some of those hot flavors start to come through instead of just being so green and grassy. For the most part, um, I, and I think think it will be a much better brew uh, to drink at that point, but still tolerable at this point. And I'm going to give it an eight out of ten for my overall. So, for Mystic Warrior, doing an IPA for a Modest Man Brewing Company, it's going to get a bumpy 41 out of 50, which is going to land this as squeaking into that very good category. Cheers.
Thank you all for watching.